Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna talk about how to fish blade baits for smallmouth bass. This stupid little piece of metal and lead is such an effective bait to catch smallmouth bass in the fall, winter, and early spring. So we're gonna show you the gear you need, where to fish it, and how to fish it, and hopefully you'll be catching some big bass on a blade bait after today's video. So stay tuned, let's go talk about some gear, and then let's cast this thing around and hopefully catch some big smallmouth bass. This section of the video was supposed to be out on the water, but as I mentioned in my previous video, my camera had went for a swim this day. So we're filming this portion again in the house. We're gonna talk about it on my phone real fast and we're still waiting on a new camera to come in. Should be here shortly and then we'll get back to my regular footage that you guys are used to seeing. As for a blade bait selection, I keep it very, very simple. I use a half ounce blade bait almost 99% of the time. If your water's pretty deep or the wind is heavy, you can go up to a three quarter ounce. And if it's low current, light wind, shallow water, you can go down to a 3 8 but a half ounce will cover you in almost all scenarios if you just wanna get a couple. And then as for color selection, I use like a silver. This is a silver and black, but anything that has the chrome color to it. And then I also use gold. The gold will work better on cloudy days or especially when the fish are feeding on perch for some reason. And then if they're feeding on shad and stuff like that, the silver works a lot better. If you wanted one blade bait to fish everywhere and have your best chance of catching a fish, you could straight up just go with a silver half ounce blade bait and you'll catch a ton of bass on this and keep it really simple. One thing you do wanna make sure that your blade bait has is a snap. You never wanna tie direct to these holes here. That will cut your line because this is metal. So if you tie direct to it and set the hook, you'll snap off on whatever fish does bite this. So either buy snaps and hook them on, or if it comes with it, you can just fish them like that. And then typically I take the hooks off that come with it because they like snap in here and don't have split rings. I'll throw some split rings on there and some new treble hooks and it'll be good to go. You'll make sure you land a lot more fish that way. They can't get leverage to throw the hooks. And then while we're talking about not being able to get leverage to throw hooks, I like to fish mine on a crankbait rod. This is just a seven foot medium heavy crankbait rod. I use it for like square bills and stuff like that. And then I use my same crankbait reel, just a six three to one gear ratio. And I put 12 to 15 pound test fluorocarbon on there. And that's pretty much all I use. This line will get trashed from fishing a blade bait because it will spin and twist your line up. So you will have to change it often, but if they're biting the bait, tend to do a lot better just using straight fluorocarbon and allowing all this bend in the rod from the crankbait rod to the fluorocarbon, all that flex and stretch and everything like that. A lot of times in the winter, these fish are barely gonna get this bait by like one treble hook. So if you have that flex, you'd lose a lot less fish, especially when they get up to the boat, because they're gonna be barely pecking at this thing. But now that we talked about some gear, let's head out on the water. We'll show you where and how to fish this bait, and hopefully we'll catch a couple big smallmouth on the blade bait today. So fishing a blade bait might be the easiest thing to fish for smallmouth bass. It tells you when it's working. It has treble hooks. The fish get hooked all the time, and it's very easy to fish. So all you wanna do, you can cast it out, or you can vertically jig it and we'll show you both in today's video. But all you're gonna do is cast where you wanna fish this and you'll let it sink all the way down to the bottom and then you'll catch a fish. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that one came off. So you'll know when something's wrong with your blade bait as well, whether you have a leaf or whether one of the hooks get wrapped and it's not vibrating correctly because it literally won't vibrate. Your rod, you won't feel any vibration in your rod tip. So you'll know to reel your bait in and then recast it back out because you won't get any bites if it's not doing its vibration down there. So all we'll do is I'll make our cast out there, let it sink down to the bottom again. And when it hits the bottom, you wanna fish this almost like a worm or a jig. You're not snapping it like this where you're ripping it up off the bottom and letting it fall back down. That's not how you wanna fish it. These fish are very cold, the water's cold, and they don't wanna move far or fast for a bait. We're fishing in 48 degree water temperature today, and these fish don't wanna move fast. So all we're gonna do is fish it like we're fishing a Texas rigged plastic or a football jig on the bottom, and we'll cast it out, let it sink down, and when it hits on the bottom, 
we'll just gently lift our rod tip and we only want to feel one or two vibrations you just want to feel it go dun 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 and then let it sink right back down as soon as you feel that stop lifting up and let it go right back down to the bottom so you'll see i'm just gently lifting my rod tip pulling the slack out of my line feeling those first couple vibrations and letting it go right back down and when you do that the longer you let it sit, you'll want to let it sit on the bottom too. The longer you let it sit there, the better chance you have of a fish looking at it and then grabbing it just like that one. So you'll let that thing lay on the bottom and when you go to lift it back up, they'll already have grabbed that bait or as soon as you go to lift it, they'll grab it immediately out of reaction. And with the treble hooks, they'll just get hooked all in the face and you'll be good to go. So then you can go ahead and, oh, he came off. Tried to flip him. We're a little too confident there. There's another one, and it feels like a giant. Oh, it feels big. Either that or I got him hooked funny. No, it's a big one. Oh, right in the head. Wow, that's a big one. Let's see if we can flip this one. I might not be able to flip him. We're gonna grab him. Come here, bud. Thank you for playing. And as you can see, they'll get all hooked in the face everywhere. Most times you're not gonna lose a fish when you get one on the blade bait, just because they get pegged super well. That's a big one right there. Uh, that's what a blade bait will catch you. Those fish get ganged up real tight. They try to stay together for warmth. They stay together in the best areas and you can catch some big ones just like this, dragging it right in front of their face. So as you can see, this blade bait is actually an effective search tool, but also a good bait to fish when they're all ganged up because you can just vertically jig it and keep it in front of their face for a long time. But you can also fish it like a worm or a jig and cover water. Like you see, I'm actually casting this bait. I'm bombing it out there and fishing it down through an area that I think the fish could be to try and find the key zone where these fish are actually at and then you can get on top of them or stay back from them and just make key targeted casts to the area. You can see I reeled that in because my hook got tangled up like that. You just have to reel it in, pop it off, and then get back to fishing. Now, I know the fish are about 20 feet in front of me, maybe a little bit further, so all I'm gonna do is pitch it out so that it'll pendulum back and be right, I can see fish on my graph right here. Those are some fish on the graph right on the bottom there. So I let it pendulum back in front of me and you can see we already got one. He picked it up right off the bottom. But that's how effective it can be vertically jigging too. You just drop it right on their head like that and jig it up and down. Oh my gosh, this thing's strong. You can see you can just vertically jig it on their head like that and catch a bunch of fish. Now, immediately, see all those fish that are down there on the graph? There's like three or four of them. All I'll do is I'll take this guy, I'll make sure I stay on top of these fish so I don't leave them. We're gonna let him go. I'll make sure my blade bait is good to go and I'll pitch it right back out there on top of this school of fish. I'll feed it line to go down right on top of them. I'll keep this bait right in their face. So I'll lay it on the bottom, give it one or two vibration, let it go right back down. One or two, let it go right back down and I'll just kind of hop it in their face without leaving. And eventually one will just react to it like that because it's sitting right there in their face. They can't resist it. It's a free meal right in front of them. It's winter, the water's cold. There's not a lot of food for them to eat. Their metabolisms aren't fast, so they're not moving much. But if you offer them a free meal right in front of their face, just like that, very easy for them to just grab it. And since it's got all the treble hooks all over it, like I said, you just hook them and you're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. And now I have this school of fish right back in front of me. I'll pitch my bait right back out here, not very far. Let it sink right back down to the bottom and we'll vertical jig it in their face to keep it in the strike zone and try and just get one to react to it. And oftentimes if your bait does get tangled while it's down there, try and give it a couple snaps like I just did there. It freed the hooks up of whatever it was or if it was stuck on the bait. And that way I didn't have to reel my bait in and make another cast. I can just keep my bait down there in the zone and try and get one to bite it. 
Sometimes that's not the case and you will have to reel it in and make another cast, but that's the way it goes. So the colder the water, the longer you wanna pause it down there. It just gives them a chance to bite it or look at it or come over and see what's going on. And then when you snap it back up, they react to it, stuff like that. We're in 48 degree water temperature here, so it's not freezing cold. I can fish it a little bit faster, but this bait will literally work all the way through winter. You can ice fish with a blade bait. I've never done it because I've never ice fished, but you can ice fish with a blade bait and it is a very popular option. So this bait will work all winter and even into the coldest water temperature, it's one of the only baits that will work all winter long. So now I can see some fish on my graph here, but I have already made my cast out there. So I will just slowly work this bait back down through here and maybe there'll be some others in the area than just the ones that are under the boat here and we'll give it long pauses to make sure they get a chance to look at it because ultimately that's what's going to get them to bite it when you get one to come over and look at it the flash draws them in that's what the blade bait does it looks like a dying bait fish it imitates them really really well that flash draws the fish in and then as soon as you get the attention of one and they come over and they nose down on that bait They'll stare at it if you're giving it long pauses. And as soon as you go to hop it again, they just grab it because they think it's a bait fish trying to get away. I hope today's video helped you learn all about how to throw a blade bait for smallmouth bass. This is such an excellent winter bait, especially for smallmouth, but it works for all species of bass. So if your water is cold or you have winter coming your way and you know these fish are getting all ganged up in one area and they'll be easy to catch, but you don't know what to throw for them, Give a blade bait a shot, make sure you keep it in their face and jig it nice and slow with long pauses on the bottom. Fish it like the water temperature dictates. If it's really, really cold, the slower you wanna fish this thing and hopefully you'll be catching some big smallmouth bass. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching.